All right, we are back with this computer here. Uh, so the previous video we showed the Gamma Dias Boreas E1. Uh, this time we're gonna show the power supply, which you can't see right now, but you could see the cables on there. Nice black cables, no mustard, which is perfect. It's exactly what we need in 2021. No mustard cables here, but it's the Enermax Cyberbron. It's 500 watts. Uh, recently, I checked out the Marble Bron, which is like the more advanced brother of it. That one was modular. This one's not modular, but it's more for lower end computers as it's only 500 watts. And it's not even, you know, for low end, you know, like i3 processors or even Pentium processors. This is rocking a Ryzen 5 processor. This computer is probably worth like 750, at least when I built it. Right now, because of all the computer part prices, this is probably worth like $1,000 USD. But the Cyberbron powers this computer nicely. And as you can see, we have quite a few items running. So we have a cooler here, we have the fan, we have a fan there, two more up top, one, two, and three in the front. And then we got the case lighting up, we have a graphics card, the GTX 1650 Super. We got RAM right there. I mean, obviously everything that's connected to the motherboard is gonna be powered up either way, but you do need some power for the graphics card. That's probably the most power required, I think. Uh, the, for sure, the CPU and the graphics card take up most of the power. And the 500 watts from the Cyberbron is definitely enough to power up everything here. Nothing has failed so far. And there's also no like weird sounds coming from the power supply. That would be bad. So always when choosing a power supply, it's really difficult to tell what power supply is meant for a low budget computer, a mid-range computer, and a high-end one. Like I said, the good thing about the Cyberbron is that it could really work for any low range computer, it could work for any mid-range computer, and you could consider it for a high budget computer, but I wouldn't really advise it because those computers are probably gonna have something like a, a 1070 or a, a 1080. Well, it's 2021, you're probably gonna have like a 2070 or 2080 or whatever graphics card is new at the moment. And those are going to require a lot of power, so you might want to get something like the Marble Bron for those. But for anything mid-range, if you have like a 1650 Super like I have here, this power supply is going to be perfect for that. If you're rocking a Ryzen 5, an Intel 5 processor, this one's going to be great for that as well. And of course, anything below that, you're going to have no problem powering it. And of course, this will work for a gaming computer, it'll work for a workstation computer. Whether you just want a computer for school or for gaming, you're going to be fine with the Cyberbron. So of course, the Cyberbron has all black cables as you saw and they're all thin too they're not like the ones that are bunched up in that round sleeve they're very thin they're easy to hide on the back panel it's easy to squeeze them through little cutouts and stuff and it's good overall for cable management this power supply is 80 plus bronze certified and it's got five-year warranty I don't think I'll need that because so far it's been very good and I don't see signs of it failing anytime soon so I think we're good there so far reliability has been high it's <laughs> there's been no issues with it whatsoever no weird sounds no random shutoffs or anything like that. Enermax is a popular brand in the gaming PC space, so I would expect nothing less than that. And one thing that I'm really surprised about, so it's $30 at the moment. I believe the normal price is $50. Yeah, it says right here, 50 bucks is the normal price, so $30. If you're in need of a power supply, go ahead and get it quickly before they run out. There's only 18 left in stock. So I do expect them to run out quickly, especially because this is a good power supply. I mean, normally for this price, you would get one with mustard cables, probably not 80 plus bronze, but you get black cables with this one, you get 80 plus bronze, and you get some good reviews. It's a four and a half stars here on Amazon. And of course I'm giving it a good review because I've had a very good experience with it. So this price really surprised me. Last time I checked, it was 50 bucks, which is what I would expect for a power supply like this. I would definitely pay 50 bucks for this, but 30? That's really surprising. It's good, good news. Good news for everyone looking for a power supply. All right, here's my computer once again. Looks nice, looks colorful. And yeah, that's it for the video. Go ahead and pick up the Cyberbron from Enermax. It's 30 bucks. I mean, I was not expecting that price, but it's definitely worth it. All right, and that's it for the video. Screw you guys, I'm going home.